Dude, I look old as fuck. Waking up from naps is like ridiculous. But it happens. I took a long nap and I'm like so I will and I was like so tired. I didn't feel like recording. Sunday I didn't feel like recording. Monday I was just tired and I didn't feel like recording. And now I wake up today, it's like Tuesday. Days after a few days. A few days later, after everything, like a week after hard times, a week after just this was this took me a while. And I feel bad. But you know, I'm not gonna give like a full review of uh hard times. I'm just gonna say like my personal like I'm just gonna say how I felt about the show and how I felt watching the show. Waking up from this nap, so and I look absolutely terrible. So feel free to roast me down in the comments. I hate that word. Just feel free to talk shit about me in the comments for how terrible I look. But I watch hard times. A few days finished it Monday. Did I finish it? I actually finished it Sunday. And I didn't feel like recording the video. But I watched it from a number of days ago to that Sunday at the Super Bowl. I liked Hard Times. I did enjoy NWA Hard Times. It was a bit of a... Like you see on uh, Power, it's old school. It's just letting the wrestlers do what they do best. And some of my particular matches that felt really good about were Allison K versus Thunder Rosa. That was really good. You had Flip Gordon versus uh well Allison K versus Thunder Rosa for me it was like sloppy in little places, but it was a great match. And it was a great match. You just let the woman be the woman. It's a it was fantastic this it was great to watch. Almost like a women's match in WWE but a whole lot different in a way. Nick Aldis versus Flip Gordon. Uh, that was a shocker match for me. It was a great match, but ended on a roll-up finish for the NWA title. You had Ricky Starks and uh, and Trevor Murdoch. That was really good. You had the tag team match, which was pretty nice. Some of the um, short matches for me that were pretty good to watch were... Dan Math versus Trevor Murdoch. It was hard hitting. It was just two guys just going at each other, and it was pretty, pretty good. My personal opinion on Hard Times is like, you know, there were good moments. There were really good moments, and they had the great moments near the end of the show. But, you know, the bad moments, they got out the way quickly. They got the bad things out the way. And then they focused on some of the bigger bigger points of the story. They kept it like a... It was a pay-per-view, but at the same time, it was a show in a way. It was still like a, a show that you'll watch normally on free TV. Like you'll watch on USA or on MB, or on Fox or on TNT. Like you watch AEW or Monday Night Raw. <sighs> or Friday Night Smackdown. But, you know... NWA Powers on YouTube, you usually just, that was, that was what the kind of show it was, that's what, that's what the, um, that's what NWA Hard Times was for me, will I be watching more NWA pay-per-views in the future, I will, I definitely will, and I'm gonna say congratulations to two people, Thunder Rosa, I know it's a bit late, but yes, I'm saying it, Thunder Rosa, and Ricky Starks for winning, you know, Thunder Rosa for winning the NWA Women's title and to Ricky Starks who won the um, television title. Two well-deserved wins. I thought, you know, Tim Storm was going to win the television title. Didn't happen. I thought Allison K was going to retain the title. Didn't happen. Uh, my predictions actually for the, uh, for the show, I think out of 11 matches, I got six right, which is pretty good. So I got six right, and the next pay-per-view is the Crockett Cup, or or tournament, I should say. It's going to be for the Crockett Cup. It's going to be interesting. 
I'm getting a little bit interested in NWA because it's like, oh, it's like an old school kind of feeling. They put on these good matches here and there. So, obviously, it's it deserves a lot more attention than it's not getting. Uh, and also, like, you know, because NWA is partnered with Ring of Honor, does that mean I'm going to watch Ring of Honor more? Probably not. I just haven't gotten too interested in Ring of Honor in a long, long, long time. And I just really don't feel like Ring of Honor no more. Until, like, you know, the big pay-per-views. Someone needs to tell me, like, the pay-per-view schedule. Get me straightened with the pay-per-view schedule. Because I'm going to need it. Because I know they're doing the Supercard show. I just want to watch the Ring of Honor pay-per-views. I'm not going to upload Ring of Honor episodes or prediction videos or anything for that. But, you know, I'm just going to give my honest opinion on it. It's like, it's not as popular as it once was years ago or many months ago. So, um, I mean, I've heard it's been through a downfall. So, someone tell me that downfall. Someone please explain it. But, enough of Ring of Honor. NWA, it's really good. It's really good. And, you know, I really enjoy, you know, the pay-per-view. The quality of the matches outweighed, you know, everything else that was on the show. It was pretty nice to see. And I did uh, not watch it live. Of course, I didn't. And I certainly didn't pay for it. So, it was a good show. I had a good time watching it. And I'm going to be watching more in the future. So, I'm going to try to keep up with it. Uh, I'm trying to keep up with every pay-per-view, really. Especially, you know, um, Impact Wrestling pay-per-views. I know there's some coming up in the next coming, in the next coming month. I know there's Sacrifice. But I don't know how I'm going to, like, I don't know if it's going to be a real pay-per-view or it's just going to be an Impact Plus exclusive. Like, you know, they had the WWE Network exclusive. So, that's just how it is. I like the NWA Hard Times. We're going to be watching more. Um, I got two more videos that I've been needing to upload. Well, two more vid one video I've been needing to upload since last week. And then the video today for Monday Night Raw review for last night. Uh, I'm going to get these done. Probably going to get everything else out the way i've been overdue on like getting videos done because i have not been keeping up with anything i've just been exhausting myself but i've been exhausted so i'm gonna just get these videos done then i'm gonna go back to my regular video uploading schedule i said i was gonna do it in the last video didn't do it didn't do it because look at me i'm a day late but I'm not going to be a day late no more. I swear to God, I'm not going to be a day late no more. I cannot work like this. this I mean, I got to work harder. I mean, I got to build. Really, really, really got to do my best to build this channel. If you want to build this channel, please. If you want to, give this video a like. Comment, subscribe. Donate to the PayPal if you feel like it. Um, it's been long time since I felt good and I've been feeling really good but I've just been sleeping so much because I just can't keep I just do a lot of things in the morning so I'm gonna try to get back to what I was doing focus and get everything do get everything moving in the right direction so I'm gonna get these next two videos up so and this is not the last time you're gonna see me today